And I think, John, the thing we'll all be looking to see is whether Andre Agassi has found his timing yet. Yesterday against a very aggressive and efficient Patrick Rafter, his timing was awry all night. Oh! So this is the first match for Courier. This year, the second for Agassi. 30 all. In that question, he'll feel far more comfortable against Jim Courier. They've virtually grown up together. They've played each other in all sorts of junior events throughout their career and uh, ten times as seniors. And uh, the style of Courier's game will uh, give Andre more opportunity to play ground strokes and get a little feel for the pace of this court. That's which right, a court he was... which he's described as one of the fastest 14, hard courts 13. he's ever played on. He's even more emphatic than that. He said, this is the fastest <laughs> outside court I have ever played on. <laughs> so that was uh, the emotion of the moment, and uh, also against the considerable power of Patrick Rafter's serve. Out. I'd agree with that. It certainly did look long. Juice. So a new Jim Courier with a an attitude to life that has changed considerably since those doughty days when he was the world number one and perhaps the toughest and meanest competitor in the business. He's determined to enjoy his tennis now, he says. Oh! Advantage Korea. He's growing his hair so he can let it down. Quite a contrast in head wear, uh, rather head styles, hairstyles. Andre Agassi, Sean, the golden locks have disappeared. Oh. oh. Well, no complaint or query to the umpire, but very close. Agassi. Andre Agassi taking the ball very early here, moving inside the baseline. The ball before the top of the bounce and fairly ripping it across court to achieve break point. We're just distracted by somebody moving to the side of the court. A little bit tense. A serve. And a string broken on that return of serve. It's not quite centered, the ball hitting right on the edge of the frame snapping the string plays with Kevlar in his mains and with natural gut at the crosses that's slightly unusual 64 pounds yes, and uh, he knew immediately that the racket had broken unusual uh... oh. oh Jim didn't like that call if it missed, it missed by the smallest of margin. Andre uh, signalling that uh, he thought the ball was wide, and that's good enough for Jim. Jim Courier at his best, doggedly determined down break point, 
and he simply refused to lose the point. Chased everything, fought hard, and that's the stuff that made Jim Courier the world's number one player. Willingness to do that, hour on end. <laughs> Advantage Courier. And as John Alexander has suggested, these two, knowing each other's games so well, are able to read the intent of the opponent beautifully. Jeez. Courier. Yeah, just a slight mishit there, but the timing already 100% better than it was last night. Courier was out here practicing with uh, Craig Boynton, the coach he's had since the middle of last year, at about five o'clock this evening when the sun had lost most of its power. Good serve. Okay, Courier. And another fine serve enables Courier to hold for one love per set. So, Andre Agassi settles into his chair and let's now just remind ourselves of some of the details about this man's career. He's ranked number two in the world, his highest ranking ever. Yearning to be the number one, he's won 24 career titles, including those this year, the first US Open and of course the Wimbledon champion in 1992. So he has two Grand Slam titles to his name and is, he says, looking for more. And who's to say that with his enormous talent, one of the greatest returners of serve in the business, and greatest hitters of the ball from the baseline, who's to say he might not achieve more titles? And his opponent, also at 24 years of age, he's out of the top 10 for the top. first time since early in 1991, ranked 11. He's won 15 titles now, just having won the uh, Australian Hardcore Championship last week without the loss of a set. In 94, he went titleless, but he was a runner-up at Nice and Lyon, a semi-finalist at the Australian Open, the French Open, previous game, Toronto and Philadelphia. But uh, as impressive as that was, a disappointing year for Jim Courier. Lock 15. No half measures about this man. He goes for broke. And as you saw last night, if you were watching, that can be disastrous if the timing is not sharp. Fifteen all. Agassi serving 1-2, first set. Lock 15. Yes, very. Lock 13. Uh, Agassi looking at the point where that ball landed, but it was right on the line. We're right above the sideline there. <laughs> Agassi having a little game with the ball boys here. Fifteen thirty. It's 
quite unusual. Most players don't want any distraction at all between a first and second serve. They have a quite uh, predetermined rhythm. There's been the odd one who can uh, be distracted and then just go ahead and play a second serve. Thirty all. John McEnroe comes to mind. Wage war with half the stand and all the officials and then go ahead and serve a fine second serve. Of course, both these men seeking to find their top form for the Ford Australian Open, which we shall be covering here on 7 next, the next couple of weeks. Andre Agassi will be the number two seed. Todd Martin, the number eight. Jim Courier, Game Agassi. the number nine. Two games all. So what a lovely evening it is, though... Sadly, there are some fires in the hills and the smoke is coming across and uh, clouding the air rather here. The in founder of uh, Adelaide, Colonel Lights home. 15 love. Wonder what was here when he found it. Lovely statue of Colonel Light on the hill pointing towards the city that he designed. Oh, yes. Thirty fifteen. Heavily sliced ball, kept the ball low, not much Andre could do with it. Andre played defensively and really left himself vulnerable to the attacking forehand of Courier. So here's a chance, the first of the match for Agassi to break the courier serve. He breaks the courier serve for a 3-2 lead. Torrens. Andre Agassi hardly cruising yet. 15 love. But at least he has the first break of serve, and it'll do wonders for his confidence, which was really knocked back yesterday by a splendid performance from Pat Rafter. Courier used to work with Brad Stein, who helped him to win a couple of Australian Opens and helped him to dive into the river to celebrate afterwards, into the Yarra. But now he's working as a hitting partner uh, with Craig Boynton as a hitting partner. Forty love. 
And he's not pressuring himself, and John, I suppose that does make sense, really. Yes, I think part of his, uh, the reason for his uh, decline was that he'd created a little bit of a legend for himself that he was trying to live up to as far as uh, setting a super pace for training and uh, practicing. Great serve. Gay legacy. So that was a very important game to win. Having to lead four games to two. Having just broken the courier serve to hammer home that advantage. 4-2 now, Agassi. And beginning to look more like the man who won that US Open title last September. Love 15. And I thought it was revealing, John, when we spoke to him this morning, how upset Andre was with his own form yesterday. He was really annoyed with himself for not being able to time the ball at all. It does come from the gambling capital of the world, Las Vegas, and uh, he doesn't give away much. Very hard to read well, his mind or his emotions during last night's match. Certainly didn't want to uh, give the impression to uh, Pat Rafter that uh, um, he had really been trounced and uh, was quite devastated, which uh, you know it appeared he was this morning. Oh. Fifteen thirty. Chattering away to himself there. Yes, sir. It's a good serve, though, that was, really. 14-13. Very heavy blow. From the reverse angle. Not the biggest serve in the game, but certainly, uh, I guess, like the old Rolls-Royce slogan, they refer to their performance more than adequate. Thank you very much. One of the main differences between these two players, Andre Agassi has beautiful touch and talent with his hands. And when Jim Courier asked himself to uh, respond with a delicate angle, but have fumbled about halfway up the net. Advantage Courier. Only some way. tan uh, going for himself there, hasn't he? Uh, has he lifted his shirt and played uh, without a shirt and practiced a few days? That's right, again today without a hat too. A little surprising in that heat of the middle day. The game Korea ball change. So yes. some good things and some bad from Agassi in the course of that game, allowing Korea. So it's Agassi once more with his break, 4-3 for set.
15 love. Not by much. Beautifully struck ball. Jim really is uh, hitting the ball very solidly from the back of the court. Not far off his best. He won the Australian Hard Court Championships here. Singles and doubles. The singles without the loss of a set. And the doubles with Patrick Rafter. Not just a well hit ball though, John, wasn't it? That just uh, caught the top of the net. Yes, I was just going to say he's just um, missing by the smallest of margins. I mean, he could be playing spectacularly well if all those near misses had been in. <gasps> Wonderful touch. Game legacy. Agassi leads five games to three. And I thought that half volley there from Agassi worthy of Mark Miles, the executive director of ATP Tour, who we had a chance to have a hit with, John and I. He and Jim Curley, one of the organizers of this event, early this afternoon on grass here. Love 15. We won't give the result, John, because both of us are too modest. It's serve. Uh, 15 all. And that Jim's racket being redone. That's Mike Newbound, who's been here for 12 years, this is his 13th year. Yes, sir. Stringing rackets for the players. Doing a fine, fast job for them, too. He's putting in Gosen Synthetic in that one. taking it on the forehand. He's waited that only on the service line, not doing much with the volley, giving Agassi the easy opportunity to make the passing shot. Fifteen forty. Fifteen forty means two set points for Agassi. And this is how it happened. That flailing forehand responsible. 30, and that just could be the lack of matches to break points and certainly a good chance to get the second ball back into play. Over anxious. Yes, well played. Three good serves in a row. Advantage career. Which would also indicate that uh, Jim is quite match tough, having played through the Australian hard court. There's a lot of extra territory in insisting on hitting so many balls on his forehand. Go! 
Advantage Korea. <laughs> I think well, he's keen to redeem himself after last night's performance. He's wanting to win. Okay, Korea. A beautiful service ace, saving the day at least for the moment. Just how match tight is Andre Agassi? We shall find out now. He's serving for this first set. Oh. 15 now. Ace on second serve. Well, you can go several matches without seeing one ace on the second serve. I think we've seen three tonight. Two from Agassi and one from Courier. We are moving to the middle of the court. He's really keen to attack and he feels more able to attack if he can take the ball on his forehand. Great tennis. Ball has just been 15 oh. extraordinary power from the back of the court, both sides by both men. Yes, Jim, it looked wide, certainly close. Five four thirty fifteen first. Set. Well, interesting that knowing that he has to keep the ball deep, he just pushed it a little bit too far. So for the third time, Agassi is at set point. Shot with an extraordinary slice. This ball flat out just skidded so low. As he made his appeal there to the umpire, Fabrice Choquet, the Frenchman, but uh, disallowed the certainly no overall. It's still set point. He takes the opening set. Six games to four. The first set that Jim Courier has lost this year. He came here and conquered in the American in the Australian Hardcore Championships. Well, oh. 15. His first double fault. There was the depth 
again from Courier, which is essential against this man. 15 all. Wonderful striking of the ball. So easy just to take all this for granted, but believe me, it is a very, very high level of expertise. Yes, sir. Yeah, that forehand off the let then was just struck so extraordinarily hard. What a shot. That's one of the toughest shots in the game. 15-30. To hit. And it was the approach shot that caught Jim Courier off guard. It wasn't hit into the backhand where he was expecting it, more down the centre. He really starting to intimidate Jim Courier's serve. That's last second serve of Jim Courier's rather meek. Oh, great tennis this. 14-30. Wonderful to see Jim back in this eager mood again. Pacing himself rather better these days. Game career. And a perfect finish to game one of the second set. To deliver his first service game of this second set, having pocketed the opening set, six games to four. Fifteen. <laughs> yes, where has it gone? Well, he's hit some very good ones tonight, actually, but too many for his liking into the net. Oh. And John, that occurs to me, it, uh, the thought that so many great players are perfectionists. Yes, that's the... Uh thing that drives them on. Perfect. Well, there it is. He's found it. Concentrated a little bit more. 40-15. And he's one of the rare players who can be as aggressive down the line as he can across court. Most players are a little bit more able to be uh, aggressive across court. 14-15. They were both in a perfect position to see an Agassi coming in behind it and this fellow standing, watching the ball coming towards him. See it from the reverse angle. It was very close. He actually appeared to signal in but call out. 
It does look like it uh, may have hit part of the line. I think it looked and on the line. you can see line. him signalling in but calling out. I think on that second replay it definitely looked on the line. Craig Boynton there, the man who is the hitting partner of Courier. Advantage Korea. Ah. Pity that for Korea. He does need to impose himself on this match. Frame of the racket of Agassi and uh, in turn off the frame of Courier's racket, but into the bottom of the net. Uh, Agassi temporarily out of trouble. And there's Brad Gilbert. Again, very close call. Advantage Same linesman. I think that was a correct call, frankly. But, uh, Andre has lost confidence with this uh, linesman in this corner. We'll see it this time. Yes, it's wide, it's isn't look, it? Uh, just wide. Game career. And the ball skied high into the stands. Are they getting no? Curly's not caught. Two to look. Two one, games. Uh, one row from the end. I thought it was headed for the for the Torrens. Well, yes, I think no question that the second call was the correct one. But two love now for Courier. He's beginning to look so much better, is Agassi, that I think it's an ominous sign for all his opponents. Next week, there at the back of your picture in the cap, Brad Gilbert, the ranked American who's now coaching Agassi. 15 all. Ranked as high as four. Now at 77 at 34 years of age, which is no mean feat. I would be sure that he'd be the oldest player in the top 100. I would, but uh, uh, Lendl has retired, but Lendl's only 33. Yes, without checking, I would think you're right. angle Jim Courier covering a, covering a lot of ground fine approach shot it's a good little uh, shot of Courier's but no problem beautiful hands Out. 15 he's having to cover so much court today Sorry, the angles that this man's finding are quite amazing. He hits the ball almost as a half volley. There isn't another man playing who takes the ball earlier. And I suppose among the women, it was Monica Seles who set the fashion in that regard. Oh, oh, brilliant. Again, Agassi. Absolutely brilliant play from Agassi. Agassi serving once more. 
he's one two down in the second set but no longer a break behind 15 now. Courier off guard again with the serve into the forehand. Jim so eager to attack, he's just leaning to the left all the time. Fifteen all. When I asked Andre why he'd shaved off his long hair for this crew cut, he said, well, he just got tired of having the hair long. No particular reason for it, but I'm quite sure that he'll be so much more comfortable in the very hot weather with a hairstyle like this. 30 all. the match from the back of the court it's not all as easy to appreciate just how hard the ball is being hit but let me tell you they are really walloping it as hard as any players in the game Agassi has drawn level. Luck two down, now two all. And the Torrens looking peaceful on this lovely summer's night where the temperature is perfect for tennis and for the spectators. Not always the case here in Adelaide. I've frozen to death at night here in these matches in the past. Told you a million times not to exaggerate, John. <laughs> A forced error. Stands much closer to the baseline during the course of a rally than most players. Too short, and uh, Andre way out of court. Not recovering well, leaving the shot open for Jim. Fifteen thirty. Yeah, seven winners from this man tonight already on the forehand wing. You'd expect that. That is his big shot. That was the trademark shot that took him to all those titles. Four Grand Slams, two here, two in France. I think he thought he was going to win an, uh, an American Open that year. He played Edberg in the final, but Edberg happened to turn on the best performance of his life and thrashed him. No other word. Fifteen forty. Driven back on his heels by the sheer punishing pace of these. Agassi returns. It's extraordinary how Agassi has transformed his form from last night. Oh. 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 
game Agassi. And the pressure is getting to Courier. He's lost three games in a row. It's Agassi, 3-2. Andre Agassi is playing now really very well indeed. 3-2. He has such a wonderful natural length up. on his ground strokes, doesn't he? Just seems to lay his racket on the ball and uh, it's deep and hard. He just doesn't hit the ball hard, he hits it so early. I don't think Jim sees where it's going and uh, he's sort of caught on his heels quite often. He wouldn't be the only player. That's it. Not only has it been a transformation, his form tonight from last night, but his whole year in 94 accelerated to a wonderful finish after a miserable 93, which ended with him having his wrist operated upon. Deep second serve force Courier right back. Power continuing, but a little bit of luck for Jim there. No way that one could be run down. 40 15. Okay, I guess. More change, please. So, yet another Agassi. ace from the record of Andre Agassi giving him a 4-2 lead and I think he'll be m most pleased about the fact a that his timing is uh, there now but that his confidence is now with him again last night he was just not the number two player in the world by any means he fumbled his way to a rather ignominious defeat but let's say also that Pat Rafter played Marvellous attacking tennis. New balls, 2 4. Awesome. The return of serve was just hit with brute power. Yes, John, more about last night. It's uh, that old saying in tennis you only play as well as your opponent lets you. And Pat Rafter really didn't let up on Andre Agassi for one second. And twice the number of unforced errors Courier has hit, because this man has been firing bullets at him. 15 over. There's the wrist scar, you can just see it there on the right wrist. Picking up the half volley with the greatest of ease, but this time it's Courier with the pace and the depth. And there is the scar, and it does look somewhat like his logo on his clothing. <laughs> it does, though, you mentioned it. How curious. And uh, this history repeats itself. <laughs> the early 60s, our Wimbledon champion, Neil Fraser, who used Schlesinger rackets, had an operation and there was a big S on the back of his leg <laughs> on, a, on a knee operation. Oh. 30, 40. And that easy miss is purely because of the pressure that tonight Agassi has been able to exert on him. 
I must say, I'm very surprised to see how well Agassi is playing after only two days in the country. Courier, but he must be boiled. Cheers ring out round the centre court here at Memorial Drive for Andre Agassi, a popular hero wherever he goes. 5 2 serving for the match. Won the last five games in very impressive style indeed. Centre theory. 15 long. Cutting out the angle for the man at the back of the court. Jim is just quite bewildered, isn't he? He's off balance. He's, he has uh, been uh, thoroughly outplayed. <laughs> 50 all. There it is from the reverse angle. It appeared the net hasn't been pulled that tightly because that ball just dribbled over. Yes, sir. There's no rule on the tension of the net, but the tighter you pull it, the ball hits the top, the higher the ball will bounce. Yes, sir. And the frustration is at last apparent on the face of Korea as Andre Agassi reaches double match point. Transformation from the man who was beaten comprehensively last night by Patrick Rafter, Andre Agassi, looking very much like the US Open champion that he is. And I thought, John, his timing was good, his confidence high, but quite a performance. It most certainly was, John. Just absolutely Andre Agassi at his best, taking the ball early, hitting the ball hard and deep, hitting the ball with great uh, variety. When he was in trouble, he played defensively uh, in a most skillful manner. He came to the net when uh, the opportunity presented itself, sometimes when it didn't necessarily present itself. He'd steal the net. He served and volleyed the odd time. He picked up the ball on the half volley very well. He showed good touch. He played magnificently. He aced on the second serve. He aced on the first serve. Uh, he, uh, as the bag says, played some real heat. So as the players leave the court, to the cheers of all those thousands of Agassiz fans.